and welcome to another episode of winemastery.co.uk. This is part two of our episode where we're talking about pudding wines. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just wish you could hear what went on before we started this video. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go there. So, we've tasted a very, very nice, refreshing pudding wine. Yes. And now we're going to go, and that was from France. Yes. And now I think we're going to jet somewhere else to another country. We're going to South Africa. South Africa? South Africa, yes. Really? Indeed, yeah. Well, I thought we'd... Different hemisphere, even. Indeed. Well, yeah. <sighs> so it's all for you. It's all for you. So let's see what the difference is in this one. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Yes. My grandmother used to drink cherry brandy, and that, I remember that looking that colour. Yeah, it's definitely, well, it, you can see, obviously, that it's, that it's much, much darker, is that one. Um, I, what would you, yeah, what colour would you say? It's almost like a hint of a ruby colour in there, but quite a dark uh, yeah, brown. Yeah, moving to brown, yeah. Mm. It looks, and the way it moves around, it's really, really thick, isn't it? It is. Actually, the weight of it, when you do that as well. Yeah, you can feel that like going. Yeah. This, this is going to be... Let's have a whiff of this. Yes. Oh, it's delightful. Oh, there's a lot going on there again, Whoa. isn't it? It's like, um... That reminds me of my Auntie June Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a lot of aunties, you know, have you? <laughs> but no, I know exactly where you're coming from there. Well, that's I what my dad called them. <laughs> Again, then. <laughs> so yes, I know exactly where your, your sherry is coming from there because um, I know yeah, it, it, you can almost smell the alcohol in a bit. It's very um, raisiny. It has yeah. that kind of richness. Or you can smell the intense kind of raisin in there. Yes. Yeah, like, you can smell the sweetness and yeah. almost like a, a, a toffeeish. Like, it's getting a hint of like um, that bonfire toffee, you know, you know that kind of really intense, almost melt burned, you know. Bonfire toffee. Yeah, bonfire toffee. That really. That, that, um, oh, see, I've never been a thought that. Whatever. Let's <laughs> <laughs> put it. Yeah, well, well, well. I'm gonna have a go at this one. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Got a completely different mouthfeel as well. Mmm. It's silky. I'd say velvety, yeah, mm, same thing, yeah. Mm, mm. Mm. That is... It's good, folks. Mm, it's delicious. That is a licky lips kind of wine, isn't it? The taste it? keeps on going, doesn't mm, it? Mm. Yeah, this is... Now, this is uh, much more intense. Now, but we're, I must say as well, also, we're knocking up down to 17% here. Whoa! So this has, got, this has got some power behind it. But this... I, I can appreciate it. I, I'm finding it... Delicious, but it's not something I could drink a lot of at all. One glass and you're done. That'll be ample for me. But you really enjoy that glass. Yeah, yeah, that is because again, like it's coming through now. Still that that that, that burnt toffee which I, I got from on the nose there, and that raisin, it, it's all it's all there, and it's staying there. I still not overly cloyer. I expect it to be more cloyer. But it's as cloyer. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's not as uh, quite as refreshing. I guess that's a sort of lemony taste with the with the last mm. one. But but still, it's not. It's not no, sickly in any way. No, the other one had that was a really intense, bright freshness. But this one, as you say, it's not clear. I can, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. But then, you've got to remember, this would be the last drink of the evening or the last after your meal. So your taste buds would have taken a fair hammering over the course of the meal. So when you come to this, it wouldn't quite taste quite as, as powerful. Yeah. But again, we should see that. Uh, I'm saying I won't be able to drink a lot of it. I'm just thinking to myself, God, if I had a cheese bar, what I'd... What I'd oh, well then, but then you'd be breaking the taste down with the cheese, wouldn't you? Yeah, say, wouldn't yeah so it wouldn't be quite as hard, not quite as sorry. P picking up on what you were saying about only having one glass, though, they, 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 maybe the vineyard actually only expected you to have one glass because the bottle was a little bit different. Yeah, oh, yes, yes. And, and this is very fickle of me. But yes, I mean, obviously I said earlier, most of them come in at half bottles, which is a, a 30, 35 CL. Um, but this has a, a lovely little glass stopper on it, which I just can't. Oh, 
It's just yeah, there's a little seal on top. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it, it does actually seal it, but it's so, I've never seen that before. No, I haven't. No, so that's what I'm saying. Perhaps they do expect you not to. Just uh, yeah, because yeah. Uh, you, it's only it is only a half bottle. I mean, uh, no, it's a half bottle. It's breakfast, really, isn't it? Yeah, no, no, a half bottle. But that, yeah. I'm, I'm very impressed with that. It's a, that's a lovely little touch. I know it has nothing to do with the flavour, and I shouldn't be um, no, swayed by such things. But no, it's different. And, it yeah, is, yeah. And, and as I said, I think that maybe that is because they ex expect you not to actually drink all of it, especially if there's, there's one or two of you, and it mm. keeps it uh, fresh for the following day. It would depend how many wines you've already had, doesn't it, and how the meal went, and, and the company. And yeah. The company, yeah. I, I, because that as well. We, we we talk about wine and we you know we're getting in, we are getting into the flavours and things again. But then that is what wine's about is the enjoyment with company. Company, yeah. Yeah. So sure. I'll probably just have one glass today. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I mean another great example of, of, of the Muscat grape and what they've done with it. Mm. Mm. Same grape. Such such yeah. an incredible mm. difference. Mm. Yeah. All I'm doing with that is just licking my lips. Mmm. Well. Yeah. That is delicious. Nice and so we uh, come to the age-old question, John. Okay. Um, we have to travel further. <laughs> yeah, but, I love this because. But, but it's not come from France. No. So France, I would imagine, would uh, mean that there is a, a premium price because it's French. Um, South Africa. Um, uh, you can get some expensive wines from South Africa, can't you? You can. Uh, but I, I suspect that this one will be slightly lower than the French one. Um, and the, the French one was, the in part one, it was 12 dollars 12 dollars yep. I'm going to put this at ten ninety nine. not because I think in terms of value, just because it's not French. Is the reason yeah, I, again, I can see you thinking there, but this is fourteen ninety nine. Bloody I'm not doing it. very well tonight, am I? You're not, well, not in a bad way, well, yeah, it's a bad way. But no, I can understand you thinking about no, what, I forget, what I did forget to mention would have swayed you is this between five and seven years old as well. Is it? So it would have spent time in the barrel, and that's and that and again cool. comes down to a lot of the pricing of the wines as well, isn't it? If it's the, the older it is. Yeah, well, if you imagine what the, the new stuff if you've got this old stuff at that price. I wonder what the new stuff <laughs> <laughs> I'll try one next time. <laughs> no. No. no for, I think. I was swayed because of the French thing. Uh, it's certainly, in terms of I can understand. Um, the intensity of the flavour, mm. and the fact that probably rather than once one meal, well, this would last you for two because you wouldn't. Yeah. So yeah, mm. oh, nice. It's uh, I would certainly consider paying the extra. But again, as you as we always say, it depends what you're eating, depends on the mood. Some meals will would far suit the first one in part one. Yeah. Uh, but this this is yeah, very 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 nice. Yeah, I'm and I'm, 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 I'm actually learning myself here and opening my eyes because because I'm, I don't. Often have a pudding wine, and not this is the first time I've really kind of started drinking them, and it's, it's opened my eyes. Actually, yeah. I'm thinking to myself, you know, are my taste buds changing? Which you often do, so you never should never neglect, you know, something. And I'm, I'm just thinking, I'm going to have to revisit pudding wines. Yes. Mm. Very yeah. nice indeed. Very nice. Let's see what um, number three. Your number three's got yeah, a lot to live up to. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I'll see if I can get anywhere close on pricing number three. We'll see you there. Cha ching. Cheers.